Hi everyone, welcome to DIY Mummy's Minute. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe for more DIY fun. Today we're going to make a spring headstone saddle. These are floral arrangements that sit on top of a headstone for that special loved one. So the first thing you're gonna need is the attachment piece that connects onto the headstone. I purchased mine from my local floral shop. You can also get them from Michael's Craft Store. You're also going to need the floral foam. This sits on top of the attachment and this is what you're going to use to create that floral arrangement. You can purchase floral foam at any craft store. I usually get mine from Dollarama, making it budget friendly. The next step you want to attach your floral foam onto the headstone attachment piece. So to do this I'm just using zip ties and what you do is just weed it through the bottom piece of the attachment. You might need to attach a couple zip ties together if yours aren't long enough. Mine weren't so I had to use two and I am connecting it in two different spots to really secure that foam in place and make sure it's not going to move on the attachment. So here's what it looks like and then you can just go ahead and tighten the zip ties up and trim off the excess ties. You can buy this attachment with the foam already in place at Michael's Craft Store. However, I do it this way because it's a little more budget friendly. So this saddle was a custom piece for a customer that wanted it for the Easter season. So I did find these crosses at Michael's Craft Store. It was buy one get one free in their spring selection or Easter selection and they were $6.99 Canadian. I always like adding something special to the saddles, whether it's a cross, decorative birds are really popular. I've also added large bows at the very top of the saddle or you could put them on the side. I do have a couple of videos where I do the bows with my saddles. I'll post the link in the description box if you're interested. So the first thing I like to add is my decorative piece because I like to work around it. So I'm adding the cross to the middle of the foam and the pick was a little bit longer so instead of cutting it I'm just bending it at the bottom and tucking it in the attachment piece. And you'll want your decorative piece a few inches from the foam. So this is about two to three inches and that way it will be visible when you have all your floral in place. I'm also going to put some hot glue at the top and I'm going to add a little bit to the bottom as well just to keep that cross from shifting. The next step is picking and placing your floral. So this is a spring or Easter saddle. So I'm gonna be using these lilies. And lilies are nice, they're nice and big, so they're a good fill-in. I got some roses that I got at Michael's Craft Store, buy one, get one free. Roses are always a must. And then you're gonna want a lot of greenery, a lot of fill-in. So these little flowers, something to give it a little bit of height. Tulips are very spring-like, so we're gonna use these ones purchased from Michael's. I also picked up these white roses uh, for Dollarama, so budget-friendly, and they had these beautiful lavender bunches as well at Dollarama. So budget friendly as well. You're also going to need a lot of greenery. So this is a fern leaf bush also purchased from Dollarama for $3. And I use a couple of these bushes mainly on the bottom but you can also use them for fill-ins. I get a lot of my greenery from Dollarama so go check out your local dollar store. Um, these were purchased from Dollarama and they were only $1.75 a bunch and there's a lot of stems attached to it. It says a firm bush there. So we'll use our wire cutters and cut off each and you can stick them in as fill-ins. Here's a couple other greeneries that I purchased from Dollarama. And the more greenery you have, the better. It really fills everything in. We have some more lavender there. They had all different color lavenders at Dollarama. So a lot of great choices if you want to go budget friendly for sure. And always check out Michael's when they have their special deals or closer to the season as well where they get the buy one, get one free. So first of all, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add our larger floral. So I'm going to start with the lilies here. And what you're going to do is just cut your stems to the length that you want. You're going to apply a little hot glue and then you're going to stick it right into the foam. And I like the saddles to look a little bit symmetric. So whatever I'm doing on one side of the saddle, I'm going to add the same floral to the other side. And just a little tip as well, with all your floral, they usually come with some sort of leaves or greenery. I like to push that greenery all the way to the top to where the floral piece is. 
and that really fills it in and adds more greenery to your piece. So you'll see here with the tulip, I'm pushing the greenery all the way to the top and that's going to give it some height and it's going to add some more greenery or fill-ins to my piece. Here's a different type of greenery that I'll be adding to the spring saddle. I got it in the spring section of Michael's and it was buy one get one free. The price was $12.99 but I did get the buy one get one free which makes it an excellent deal because this bush comes with multiple stems. So this one bush will be added to multiple spring saddles this year. So again, I'm gonna take my wire cutters and I'm gonna cut off each stem. So you'll have single stems. And then you're gonna take the greenery and again, I'm gonna push it to the top, apply some hot glue and then add it into the foam. So this particular bush, I'm gonna add all throughout this spring saddle just to give it some depth and some different greenery. And again, whatever I'm doing on one side, I'm doing on the other side. And the same with the back, whatever I'm doing in the front, I'm gonna try to mimic that for the back as well. Next, I'm going to take my fern bushes and I'm gonna cut them to stem size. And then we're gonna add them on the bottom of the saddle just to make it longer. And this will go over the saddle, kind of covering that wire attachment as well. And you wanna do this on the sides, on the back and in the front. And once you've added your long ferns all the way around, it should look like the floral piece is laying in a bed of greenery. Each of your stems could have multiple leaves. So you wanna spread those leaves out. They are wired so you can maneuver them any which way that you need. So the ferns are kind of your bottom layer of the saddle. So now that you have that in place, it's starting to take shape and you're just going to start to fill it all in with all of the floral that you picked for this spring saddle. So here is another spring floral I got from Dollarama. It comes with these little floral buds and it also has some greenery in it too. So I'm gonna cut off each stem, apply hot glue, put it into the foam. And I'm gonna do this throughout the saddle as well. And I'm gonna follow the same direction of the fern leaves. So just adding that second layer because the first layer was your uh, ferns and now we're going to start with the second layer and then we're going to keep going all the way to the top until we've completed this saddle. I purchased these smaller ferns at Dollarama and they're $1.75 a bunch and they come with all these stems. So really budget friendly and a really good fill in. So with my next couple of layers I can add these all through the saddle and really fill it in just make sure the floral that you're buying is wired it makes it really easy to bend them whatever way that you need to kind of fill it in and hide that foam so to finish off this saddle I'm going to keep adding layers add some smaller floral and my greenery and keep going till I'm all the way to the top so here's the progress once I've added a few more tulips and the smaller greenery ferns. So I'm gonna continue adding spring floral, mainly smaller floral. This one's lavender that I got at Dollarama for $1.25. It comes in a variety of colors. I picked the pink and the white, but there was also a very pretty yellow as well. And it's budget friendly. It's $1.75, but it has five stems to a bush. So to prepare that, you're gonna cut off each stem and you're just gonna distribute it throughout your saddle. I also got these pretty white roses, also from Dollarama for three dollars a bush roses are classic and super popular so if you can find a good deal definitely pick them up dollarama does have the larger ones as well although they only come with one rose um, and you can also find them at michael as as well and definitely take advantage of buy one get one free or they're 50 percent off so I also used a couple different greeneries. This was a decorative bush from Dollarama for $2. So I'm gonna add that to the saddle. Here's another type of fern that I found at Dollarama. I believe it was $3 a bush and I'm just gonna take them all off and definitely utilize all the greenery from your floral that you pick too. So add it all so because it's really gonna fill in your saddle. So here's the end product of my spring headstone saddle. I think it turned out gorgeous. Just remember to 
add enough greenery and floral to cover that foam and that's really going to set you apart from the other sellers. I just want to thank you all for your continuous support and thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more DIY fun. If you have any questions or comments, please comment below. I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. I hope this inspires you to create something beautiful. Happy spring everyone!